welcome to Seth's Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti alla carbonara. Carbonara is an Italian dish, it's an Italian pasta dish from Rome. If there's one thing I've learned from my three month travel in Italy is fucking with Italian food, it's a no go. So, let's get cooking. Making carbonara is very simple and easy. You just only need to know the right ingredient and the right way how to do it. So guys, you have a dried spaghetti here. This, well, for me, this is one of the brands I always use for dried spaghetti. You can also use fresh, uh, fresh spaghetti, but I prefer dry. And we have cheese, it's very important. I'm using pecorino cheese because this is the authentic and this is what people in Rome use in Italy. And if you don't have access to this, you can also use Parmesan cheese, but it's not as strong flavor as the pecorino cheese. And guys, to start the show, guanciale. So what is guanciale? It's a pork chick. It's a cured pork chick. And it's fairly more like more fat in it and it's more salty I guess and the most important part of making carbonara or cooking carbonara is the fat rendered on this little piece of baby and again if you don't have access to this you can also use <gasps> you can all sorry and of course we need the egg and we need some peppers. Before I'll start cooking and prepping the sauce, I need to, of course, cook first the pasta. So roughly for one to two person, maybe 200 grams to 250 grams. You just need to put a little bit salt on your water. That's very important because the guanciale and the pecorino cheese is already salty enough. So a little bit of So you, you twist it and drop it. My spaghetti will cook roughly around 8 to 10 minutes, but I prefer 8 minutes for al dente and then the 2 minutes will gonna be in a pan. So we chop the, the guanciale. Look at those fat. Oh. So you roughly chop it, bite size or how you want to do it. Oh. So I've chopped the guanciale now, so I'm going to put it in a pan. As you can see, in a medium high heat, because I want the guanciale to render its fat. I'm not going to put any olive oil here. It's just as it is, because it's the fat is already enough. While this guanciale is cooking away, we're going to make our sauce or cream. What do we need? In a bowl, I will uh, crack some crushed egg. One more. And if you want a bit more creamier, we gonna be a bit more cheeky. We add one egg yolk and we grate some pecorino cheese roughly around 40, 40 grams and a little bit of pepper as you can see guys oh the smell you want it a little bit crispy. I want it crispy. It's slowly rendering some fat. So this is the cream. No milk, just egg and cheese. So my pasta is ready cooked. It's perfectly al dente. And molto importante guys, you need to turn off the heat before you put the spaghetti in. That's very important.
I combine the spaghetti and the guanciale all together. You need to have a little bit of pasta water. It's very important to three. People are asking where does the cream come from? Of course, it's from the egg. So you're gonna combine it all together. The stove is off, but I wanted to turn on a little bit. So to, just to thicken the sauce up. See guys, see, that's the cream. You don't put milk in your carbonara. Who does that? Italians will gonna shoot you in the head, believe me. So that's it. We're gonna pay it up. Because I like more cheese. It's raining cheese. A little bit more pepper if you want. Here you go guys, the taste of Italy. Let's see if I'm gonna be transported back to Italy. Mmm. 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 It's so good. Mm. The guanciale really makes a difference. So guys, if you like more of my recipes, don't forget to subscribe and like. And you can follow me all on my social media. I will link it down below the description box. And also, the written recipe will be up at www.seskitchen.com. Ciao! Make a blooper. So awkward to say ciao, like ciao, like ciao.